so while I was in the hospital, I did end up getting a small wart on my left foot. And it's really tiny, but I do need to get it removed. So I went to my doctor and she started doing liquid nitrogen on it. So I get it, I get liquid nitrogen on it every like two weeks. So I have to go back tomorrow. It's gotten a lot smaller. The pain of getting liquid nitrogen isn't really a lot because I do have a like a high pain threshold. Um, I do feel it though, but I remember in the past when I had like warts on my feet from working at a wading pool and so you would always be in the water and like walking around. So I got it then. Um, I had a lot bigger warts and so it would take a lot longer to get rid of and the pain of getting it done was a lot worse just because they were a lot bigger and so I would also get like pain walking. I'd feel it like burning or being sore on my foot but when I get the sessions done on this one because it's really small I don't feel anything when I'm walking. I don't have any trouble walking on my feet and I'm still wearing the same sock just because I don't want to waste other socks and contaminate them. So I'm hoping this session is the last or I might have to get another session and then I'll throw out this sock and it'll be gone and I won't have to worry about it. I don't even worry about it right now just because it's super tiny but I do know it's still there and I just want to be as healthy as possible so I do want it removed. I've also heard that you can leave a bandaid on it and not take it off and then leave it on for a long time so there's no air getting to it and then it'll come off but I haven't tried that and then also my doctor recommended that I use Solivare but I did because I had them in the past so I did know that liquid nitrogen worked and I just didn't want to do it myself and you know like ruin it or it not work and then I waste more time and I have it for longer so I just said can we just do the liquid nitrogen because I'm used to it and it's pretty cool like you could see the air coming out of the cup and then she just uses a q-tip to touch the liquid nitrogen and put it on but yeah I got the wart like on my second day in the hospital like I noticed it pretty fast I can like identify it pretty fast because I've had them before and I got it from the showers there because I like stayed for about 15 days at the hospital and I would have to use the showers there and the showers aren't that sanitary. I mean they do clean it every morning but there's a lot of patients and it does get like dirty and there's bacteria and just in general hospitals aren't the cleanest so that's that and I remember telling my nurse and he was like yeah that's a fair complaint but he didn't end up doing anything about it just because there's like they're doing a lot and they're super busy so I just went to my doctor after I got out and she like said it was covered just because I got it in the hospital so let me just show you what it looks like see that patch right there that's pretty much what it looks like and it's nowhere else on my foot. Let me just zoom in. So I actually saw a foot specialist because the guy that was treating my wart said I could, I mean, he referred me to him so I could get like more intense treatments. But the foot specialist told me it was just a blister and I don't believe that um, because it's still here and blisters go away fast. And plus the guy was just trying to sell me um, insoles for my shoes. But I'm gonna go back to see him on Monday and see what he says. If he says the same, thing that it's just a blister um and he's trying to sell me the insoles and i'm just gonna like go back to the guy who's treating my wart and get rid of it so i wanted to make a update video on my wart slash callus um it turns out it was just a callus and i had um worn out my shoes so i did get rid of the shoes because i did have them for about a year or over more than that actually so I got a new pair of shoes and so far no, I don't have any calluses anymore. My callus did go down so it's not really visible much anymore. But yeah, so I went back to that uh, foot doctor and he again told me it was a callus and that it looked really good and it like I don't need to come back for any more appointments because um, it looks like it healed and it uh, went away. So that's really good, and it's good that I didn't have a ward actually. Um, but yeah, so I also got this uh, foot scraper. I don't actually know what they're called, but I got it from the 
dollar plus store and you basically just like get off all the dead skin on your foot and so this has really helped with my callus that actually isn't i mean it's becoming a callus but it isn't quite there so it's at like the starting stage so it's helped with getting that down and more smoother also i've been using a spin brush for my face but also it comes with a like foot thing that you can do on your foot while you're in the shower and that has been helping with getting rid of dead skin so i will just show you my foot um as you can see all the dry skin is pretty much gone and that is my skin now it doesn't look like a callus it has healed um but i will be doing or using this on it so you can actually just do that and of course over garbage because you don't want the dead skin to get everywhere um but yeah that's my healed foot it looks like the rest of my foot now i will show you what i meant by another callus forming and it's actually at the same part of the foot as my other side so that's what it looks like it's a little bit it's coming um it's a little bit like callus -y. it looks like a callus sort of um but it's at the beginning stages so i can actually get rid of that and rub it down